Francis is, uh, he works for the Boyle family, uh, and the, the sort of head of the Boyle family is Roy, played by Simon Russell Beale. And, uh, but he is not, he's not an actual member of the family. He's the only, the, the only kind of gangster mobster you meet who's not um, in the family and he's worked his way up. He's earned the trust of, of the boss uh, through just being a kind of brilliant foot soldier. And um, in the story, he's taken six bullets fairly recently for, for Roy. So he's, um, yeah, he's ambitious and he's, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but he's, um, he's pretty cold when it comes to what he's prepared to do to kind of uh, put himself ahead. Francis is, um, he's kind of like a number three, if you like, underneath Richie, played by Dylan. Um, Roy is the head of the family. And you know they are um they're not um they're not a huge operation they 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 have their turf and they um they they're upwardly mobile you know they they want to uh take over more territory and stuff and I think at the point that you meet them in the story um they are they think they're making inroads with um a larger organization called the outfit. <clears throat> which was a real um, uh, mobster gang operation run that was started by Al Capone in the 30s and it kind of spread out. And it, so it's this big thing that is spread across America and they think, the, the Boyle family think that they're kind of getting into the outfit, basically. Um, and Francis has been part of that and he's really ambitious for the, for the family to get into the outfit and he is... Um, uh yeah he you know he's he's like he's it's sort of a favorite for roy in some ways he's um potentially like the son that he wished he had maybe um he's much more practical and ruthless than richie who's the actual um uh son so uh he's yeah he's an invaluable part of this organization Francis and Richie have a strange relationship because, um, you know, Richie is the heir apparent. He's the first in line kind of thing. And Francis is biting at his heels by being um, more efficient and kind of practical than him. And um, they're just very different personalities, which makes for a very, really cool kind of dynamic in the scenes with, with Richie played by Dylan. And I loved um, doing that stuff because, uh, Dylan was fantastic and lovely and uh, and very funny and so perfectly cast and we, it was just great doing that kind of playing the playing the tension and enjoying being these different characters. But yeah, Francis is arguably um, very cold and efficient. You know, he's made for this job basically. But Richie is has his sort of weaknesses, which makes him a very you know interesting character, but maybe not the best mobster. Francis is, um, he is, he's dead set on the thing that will give him the most power, basically. And he, um, he's absolutely ruthless in pursuing that. And, um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to talk about it without kind of, uh, giving things away, but he, you know, he's prepared to throw people under the bus to get where he needs to go to, basically. The Boyle family, uh, who Francis works for, are the they're they're kind of a small operation, ambitious um, crime family, who have control of the streets in this area where we where we are in the film. Um, but they are they're trying to break into this larger organisation called the Outfit. Um, so they are you know upwardly mobile, ruthless, um, you know trying to kind of move their agenda forward basically and Francis is not part of the family but he has uh, proved himself to be this kind of val valuable foot soldier for the family. Francis is really smart and um, as the story 
goes on, he realizes that Leonard is not everything that he assumed about him. Um, and Leonard reveals more of himself and becomes embroiled in the twists and turns of the story as Francis kind of brings him into his trust and and uh, implicates him in in the the kind of the the things and the events of the night. Um, so, but then of course, but they ultimately have different agendas, albeit that they are sort of similar in in who they essentially are, and that's something that Francis starts to see, and it's really um, cool what happens. I've known Mark for quite a long time. I've done a few um, theatre plays with him, so it was really special to, to be reunited with him, and um, whenever I've worked with him before, I've learned so much from him, and it was, it's been fantastic to see his process on film. Um, and to just, yeah, have a lovely um, friendship with him and also such a tremendous amount of respect for him uh, as, a, as an artist. So it, it's just, that's just lovely. And the same with Simon, who I've worked with before. Um, I mean, those two actors, Simon and Mark, when I was graduating from drum school, I think I saw Mark in Richard II at the Globe and I saw Simon as Uncle Vanya at the Donmar, and it was like those two performances that made me want to be an actor. So now to be doing scenes with them is like, um, you know, beyond, um, yeah, it's amazing. Dylan and Zoe, who I didn't know, I just, um, I've completely fallen in love with them. They are uh, two of the sweetest, kindest, most talented, People and I, I just, yeah, it's just so lucky to um, land in a cast that where everybody's so good, and um, uh, so yeah, so and and to, you know, I feel like I'm learning so much from all of them. I had I've got a great kind of friendship with all of them immediately, and that week of rehearsals that we had really bonded us. Um, so that's been great. Graham is. Um, just lovely and he's, uh, apart from, you know, having written an amazing script with Jonathan, he is, um, a fantastic collaborator and a really good listener and very receptive to our ideas as the actors and what we bring and, and, and just very generous in holding that space with, with us and, and with the crew and, and you, I, I've never been on a set where people listen to each other as well as um, this one. It feels like a very calm atmosphere, and and that all comes from the top. You know, that comes from from Graham. He's a, a, a fantastic energy and presence, and um, sweet and funny, and 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 you know, just just really kind. And uh, but also, you know, just really really smart. And the the story is so great you know that actually as actors it's a gift to, to play these scenes where everything has been worked out so well that you know you, you, when there's amazing um twists and turns and the plot is so well mapped out that you, you don't really have to do very much you just have to be in the situation and that's that's what it's like and uh, graham's been holding that space for us really well